yeah it has really given us lot of illumination already <laughs> yeah gone beyond the void death is no more there therefore of course there is no more falsehood also because it is death who is the cause of falsehood so if death has gone away automatically with that falsehood also goes away the error with which we were looking at things that error has been removed and therefore we see the meaning the significance the purpose a kind of a whole design behind this creation in the light of the supreme which shall illumine us with the truth savitri is in the transcendent and as i have been saying all along savitri has gone into the transcendent through the void what does that really mean there are two things in that <clears throat> the first thing is behind the void after all it is the supreme himself it is his creation it is his transcendence what you are seeing as a face in the form of a void is not really that behind the void is the supreme with a certain purpose therefore she has gone directly seen the void seen behind the void the supreme himself directly it is the supreme who is supporting who is holding who is maintaining keeping it for a certain purpose the void so going behind the void is something which is remarkable to see the meaning the content of it you don't see from from this side you see from behind what is the content and meaning of the void you see the other thing is we have seen earlier at the end of the last canto that death has vanished into the void from which he came from the void from which he came 147.37 the dire universal shadow disappeared vanishing into the void from which it came the shadow had disappeared the figure of death which is the shadow of the supreme it is that shadow which has disappeared so what you really see the moment the shadow had disappeared in that you really see the supreme himself in his truth form you see the supreme himself in his truth form now the other puzzling thing is vanishing into the void from which it came all right death has vanished he has vanished into the void does it mean that the void also has disappeared no it does not mean the void is there the void is there so what about that void what happens to that void now in the absence of death there does it serve any purpose is there any substance content in the existence of that void now there well that is a difficult question but i think the answer to that lies in what we are now doing what has happened is the shadow has disappeared the void has disappeared our way of looking at things that error it is that which has been removed so what we should really see is is not the void but the supreme himself in the non manifest content in the non manifest state 
and because it is in the non manifest state you may call it if you like a void and it is out of it now the manifestation will come out now the grace of this non manifest existence of the supreme is what is now being described in this canto here and savitri for the first, first savitri sees first the seven immortal earths climbing one above the other and we are still looking at this description of the earth which is closest to our physical earth the harmony the beauty the joy of the planes of consciousness which are there it is those which she is seeing here now in the harmony of an original site now it is that original site now which is going to give to us some idea of what it is there for original site delivered from our limiting ray of thought and the reluctance of our blinded hearts to embrace the godhead in whatever guise she saw all nature marvelous without fault she a full stand for savitri all nature so everything now so the error has disappeared original sight is what is giving her now the true vision of things which our blinded eyes do not see and perceive the godhead has put on a guise and we are not able to see behind his guise what he is there for you see she saw all nature the whole creation the whole manifestation the whole activity without fault perfection it is all perfection perfection of what a few things are described here invaded by beauties universal revel the joy of beauty everywhere her being fiber raised out vibrating and claimed deep union with its outer selves so the inner and outer that division that dichotomy that conflict that has disappeared and on her cause made pure to seize all tones heaven subtleties of touch and bearing fold more vivid raptures than earth's life can bear what would be suffering here was fiery bliss there of course <laughs> yeah so naturally what we have been crying and weeping and shouting all about it is nothing for him for him is all bliss fiery bliss you see it is it is our error our ignorance our limitation which make us weep and cry and all that but behind that there, there is the kind of intensity of joy of expression in some other manner that we don't feel in experience all here but passionate hin and mystic shade divine by the inner prophet who perceives he perceives inner prophet he perceives the spirit of delight in sensuous thing turned to more sweetness than can now be dreamed so it's a constant growing of sweetness and joy and happiness the mighty signs of which earth fears the stress yeah you see earth cannot bear the stress the impact the force of it trembling because she cannot understand and must keep obscure in form strange and sublime were here the first lexicon of an infinite mind translating the language of eternal bliss each object is expression is a word expressing bliss eternal bliss and each object therefore is forming a dictionary a lexicon each object is a dictionary is a meaning each object has a meaning contained a dictionary of the infinite mind 